da 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 What's up, y'all? Ba -ba. Ba -bum it is Tuesday, and I had a good day. I worked out, did a little weights, ate my husband's leftover spaghetti, watched the craziest movie. It's called Bo is Afraid with Joaquin Phoenix. That movie was so crazy and entertaining but crazy it's on apple tv like that movie i this gotta be top five craziest movies i've ever seen it was it made no sense it felt like you was on an acid trip the whole movie but yeah did that um just trying to get through my day don't you hate when you're trying to get through your day get things done and then little dumb little annoying things happen that just put put a bind like you know it's like why is this happening right now like little silly things that just drive you insane but i thugged it out y'all but i just hate when i'm like on a mission to do stuff and little things out of my control it, i can't do it just just little things like i hate that but it's life what can you what can you do what are you gonna do uh yeah that's about it y'all let's go ahead and hop into this news street medics treat heat illnesses the oldest of protesters marched through barcelona over the weekend to express anger at mass tourism and its impacts on spain's most visited city you know Hawaii and Spain, they don't want y'all over there, but y'all keep going. Russia launched dozens of missiles at cities across Ukraine on Monday in an attack that killed, um, excuse me, bleep that, unalived at least 31 people and smashed into a children's hospital. My By Monday evening, Beryl had weakened to a tropical depression and was causing flooding, the risk of the tornadoes across a portion of eastern Texas. Um, President Biden's physician, Dr. Kevin, explains why an expert Parkinson's disease visited the White House eight times in eight months starting last summer. Okay, eight times is excessive, but yeah. Um, I guess they say he's saying he's, he don't have nothing, I don't know. Regular three million passengers pass through TSA. Maybe that's why they coming out with this Alzheimer's medicine really fast, because I've been reading a lot about that being the FDA passing it and I don't know we might be on to some here federal prosecutors gave Bowen the choice last week of entering a guilty plea and paying a fine as a part of their sentence they accepted the plea deal oh yeah the government want that money they'll say we forgive you Bowen you know just pay us a fat check we gonna come back though give them about five to ten years Insurance wouldn't pay for his vasectomy. Such birth control coverage may become more elusive. What is Project 2025? What to know about it? I mean, read up on it. I'm tired of talking about that. Um, as sunscreen and misinformation spreads online, dermatologists face real-life impact on online trends. A prosecutor accused Senator Bob Menendez uh, in closing arguments at his bribery trial of putting the power up for sale to benefit three New Jersey businessmen, businessmen who allegedly bribed him with gold and cash. It went hard. Chargis said it will soon stop accepting personal checks from customers. I can honestly say I don't own any checks because, like, nobody really writes checks anymore, but some of these people on them like buying a house or something like that a five-year-old boy from long island new york has become the youngest person ever to receive the high-tech bionic arm pretty cool although i don't want to get my legs or arms cut off i just feel like man it would be so powerful look at that it's an iron man arm too how cool is that an Atlanta-based program is aiming to reduce crime, build trust, and improve communities by bringing police and kids together in an unexpected place where they feel comfortable. Holiday travelers help TSA set a new record with over 3 million people screened nationwide. What did they catch? 
Paramount, the owner of Paramount Pictures, Movie and Television, the CBS television network of CBS, announced in a news release late Sunday that it is combining with Skydance. Okay. Months of record-breaking heat still causing wildfires. The number of people unalived or wounded in Pew Pews on the 4th of July in this week dipped this year. May get it the fourth year in a row where we've seen it go down. Nearly 40 civilians were unalived and over 170 injured in Russian missile strike on Kaviv. Republican National Convention has released 2024 GOP platform. Here's what it says. I don't, I'm not going to read it. President Biden says he's not going anywhere despite calls. Stop asking. He don't stay. Remnants of barrel continue to bring torrential rain and flooding to parts of Texas. Pray for Texas. At least two people were killed when... Just, ugh, keep doing it. <laughs> Unalive when trees fell on their homes as barrel battered parts of Texas with strong winds, heavy rain, and tornadoes. High water rescue missions are underway due to widespread flooding and 2.7 million people are without power. This unalive thing is just going to really send me. A new cyber attack is targeting iPhone users with criminals attempting to obtain individuals' Apple IDs in a phishing campaign, security software company Simtech, Simtech said in an alert Monday. they always trying to get you, ain't they? Starting next week, the price of a forever cent will increase by a nickel to 73 cents. Dang. Dang. I got some forever stamps too. I'm about to start doubling them up. That's just crazy. I really wish Amazon would just start doing mail. I'm sick of the post office. Alright, I think we might be caught up. There's some crazy stuff I liked on this app, y'all, so buckle up. Human nunchuck? Yeah, look up. Oh, that's your, that's that's your go by. Yeah. Alright, yeah. so let me see you just swing that motherfucker. No, come on now. That's why they got the nunchucks on my Oh my god. Yo, this mother. Yo, this shit is crazy. Yo, my man said human nunchuck. And he was still able to carry a pop with it. I wonder if that's like. He decided to keep an arm that had gone bad. I have a lot of questions, but he got a nunchuck tattooed on there. I mean, you know. So this was a Broward County road rage incident. What are you tweaking about? I have an 82-year-old man in the car, and you guys are all fucking spinning and disturbing. Just because it's 4th of July doesn't mean you get a fucking dick. You're drunk fuck as fuck. You, fuck you, dog. You're the one swerving. I was just following you. I'm the one swerving? Oh, uh... I'm the one fucking swerving. Yeah, it was actually... Oh, there she goes. And, okay. All right. She said, F you, dog. And then she proceeded to let, get out her car and then rolled and hit the one in front of her. For all the people that can't see my videos, go to at Suge Knight video on YouTube or at Love Marriage on YouTube so you can see the videos. Here's a dog that got angry. Dogs really do be copping attitude. Like, that's something my dog would do for real. This Tokyo Tony auntie show they got on Zeus. I just, I don't know. Here's one. I don't know if I want to play this uh, clip. I got another one, but it's wild. This is a blast. This black ass nigga is about to come out to fuck my daughter. I want to hear about oh Who? So he said. <laughs> I tried to get him to fuck my daughter's play. <laughs> Oh. 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 Let's bring out the game. 
Bring your ass out here. Come on, baby. Bring we have a the very game. special guest today, y'all. Bring out he the game with the to good play big with. dick. Oh, yeah, love, I heard come on and sit over here by the mama. Good. Yeah, baby. They told us not to look in your eyes, but I see you yeah, got them you shades on. Big back. Big oh, back. Big back. Big back. back. Big back. <laughs> yeah, you doing that uh, you, laterals. You, th you thicker that. off the internet, huh? Huh? Well, Not no shake no hand, nigga. You say yeah. he had to crash. Kiss you, you, you kiss, kiss mine, You got nigga. me fucked up. Look, look, look. I ain't kissing no motherfucker. Cause I ain't standing up for no niggas either. I ain't asked you too. Oh, uh -huh. but anyway, keep it moving. How tall are you? I'm about six five. Oh. You put a little weight on, huh, Tony? No, I've been this way yeah. all my motherfucking life, you ain't nigga. Been that thick. Always been this <laughs> thick. I heard you talking about me. Always. I love staying on your mind. This show is going to be a mess. Like, I've seen so many clips. The game said China gave a good head, and Tony said she do too, and Zeus is diabolical to black people. I'm sorry. How long is this network going to stay up? So Joe Rogan asked why we have $175 billion to send to Ukraine, but not $5 billion to send to Maui. Now, that's a very good question. Joe Rogan exposes the disturbing contrast in government spending. The world's most popular podcaster and many Maui residents, it's... Why, do you why think, wouldn't they do that? I don't understand. Those people are devastated. And then there's all this talk you know, about like go taking to, over that land. And well, you go to Maui. I was in Maui, and you see people have uh, put graffiti on the side of buildings saying this is a land grab. Yeah. You see that a lot. It is a land grab. It's a pretty transparent land grab. Right? It's happening in front of our eyes, and no one's doing anything about it because it's five hours in a jet across the ocean. And we're watching this shit take place where these people... And first of all, just horrible mismanagement of water rights, horrible mismanagement of power lines. The fact that they have horrible winds, crazy winds there, and they've had these fucking power lines that are above ground. When I lived in California, my fucking lines were underground. They figured it out there. How come they didn't figure it out in Hawaii? You know how much money could have been saved? They just put the power lines underground? It was so unfortunate that they're... Our alarm system malfunctioned. Yeah, how about so, that? And that the water got turned off, so the firefighters... They wouldn't let them turn the water on. It like was people, the, the water's a very valuable commodity there. The whole thing so, is fucking insane. And that the cops are turning people back into the fire. It's just, it's just, these the are whole all, thing is insane. These are, these are all just unfortunate. This is an unfortunate thing. Wow. Unbelievable, isn't it? Again, though... Yeah, Maui, if you don't know, that think that that has to be some sort of a land grab then i don't know what to tell you go down the rabbit hole now here's a video of two bears fighting this was interesting it was interesting at the time but bears is nothing to play with that's all i'm gonna say i saw one in a jacuzzi the other day and i was like he could have had that i don't know how people actually live where places where bears just come in their house i couldn't michael blackson elton must have weak bladder i don't know what he's talking about kentucky party crasher unalized sex four people and injures seven before fleeing and taking himself out. Democratic National Committee rips Trump for McFarland collab Firefest dumpster fire. Secrets of Playboy A and E sued over Secrets of Playboy dancers claims invasion of privacy. Now that they didn't broke up all these networks and apps, I haven't seen anything on A and E in so long. I gotta go get back because I used to love watching First Forty Eight. 
Ali Baldwin courthouse security bolster for rush trial. Tyler Perry, 50 Cent as a Hollywood natural. We can collab anytime. Twitch streamer Sketch speaks on OnlyFans past. Consider, you know what? You definitely want to talk about that. But I guess they discover his OnlyFans. He was doing corn for the same sex. And people was coming for him for it. But he said, yeah, he did. He said he was broke. Kendra Lamar, beef selling beef, not like us, booze Compton joint sales. Cool. Burger joint. Not joint, but maybe joints too. Kevin Bacon, shirtless thirst trap for his 66th birthday. Kevin looked like a, a vampire. I'm sorry. He do. But, I mean, he looks good for his age, but he do look like a vampire. I'm sorry. So tired of hearing about that Hawk Twa girl. Bob Burger star Jay Johnson pleads guilty in January 6th Capitol riot. Imagine working on a hit show and getting found out that you went to January 6th. There was a wild nightclub brawl in Greece after Olympic qualifying loss. Well, they didn't like that. Sophie Turner jokes about dating in a new liquor ad amid joe jonas divorce she gotta work y'all neverland ranch massive blaze bearing down uh, you know they was trying to get that to sell i wouldn't be surprised if blanket went back there and did something allegedly because you know they was trying to sue their grandma for that estate i'm just saying now is now blanket don't let me find out you be honest jennifer lopez a message to ben he doesn't deserve to have her <clears throat> oh that's what michael blackson was talking about elton john sh shoe shopping a real pisser allegedly pees in a bottle in a store y'all didn't let elton john use y'all potty Texas shark attack victim. My leg is pretty much gone. Girl, I seen that leg. It looks pretty bad. I hope I hope you get a bionic leg. Because that was a cool like leg that the little boy had. Sorry. I know. I know. I know. Brittany says she's never dating men again. I don't know if she going to the other team or what. But she says she's through with y'all. <sighs> Aerie Spirits faces social media backlash over comments on black women wearing lashes. And everybody was saying that Aries looks like he has a permanent raccoon mask on his face. How to beat summer FOMO as a working adult. Plan your own fun. Unplug. Apprentice the small stuff. Oh, appreciate the small stuff. I was going to say apprentice. It would be nice to have an apprentice to do the small things they can take care of. <clears throat> she needs practice. A first-time plane rider faces a 28000 fine after a mistakes emergency exit for a restroom. Come on, girl. You think that that door is that hard to open? She still got it, ladies in a 40 plus club, proving age ain't nothing but a number. Got Missy, Mary, Fantasia. I don't know that the ladies, they cut her off. All right, Candy Burris suspects Tasha Scott stole her diary and exposed the details of her relationship with Jermaine Dupree. I'm gonna be, I'm not, I'm kind of like over Candy throwing Tasha under the bus. Like, I get y'all not together no more, and I think she did the uh, this is a some a thing like TV One Uncensored or something, but. I don't understand why people get to keep diaries, honestly. Like, I get, like, if you're on some journal thing, but I don't know. Diary? Anyway, that said, that's what the song You're My Little Seeker was about. But y'all let y'all kick Tasha out the groove. Y'all still making her the fall guy. Like, let it go. Let it go. I like Tasha. I don't care what y'all say. 
Two unalived in Houston area due to the hurricane. All right, y'all. Let's see what's on Reddit today. to take a little drink what is your hack to fall asleep quickly for me the temperature got to be perfect in my room and I if I have a hard time falling asleep I literally like re think about the most hot like the most tired I felt and wished I was in my bed and normally it don't work. I really have to have like a pep talk to myself. Like if you don't take your butt to bed. Like you complain all day about how you was tired. So I literally sometimes fuss at my own self. Like put that phone down. Go to sleep. But everything else needs to be perfect. Like the crisp sheets. The fan. The pillow. I gotta have my favorite pillow. I can't have the sheet like halfway off my shoulder. Everything gotta work out. If I can lay on my husband's chest and fall asleep, he always makes me go to sleep fast. He's just like a, a little cuddly bear. <laughs> but if he's not there, like, then. But if he's in there, and especially if he puts on, like, one of the boring movies, I'm out. That's my key to success. If my husband is watching some boring movie, I will freaking pass all the way out. Somebody says, I create a story... I'm not about to read all that, but that's that's cool. On Spotify, there's a podcast called Nothing Much Happens Bedtime Stories. Really? Y'all listening to bedtime stories? Now, I do like to listen to ASMR. Not at home. My husband hates the sounds, but ASMR does relax me. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it works, but it makes me tired. So stupid, too. I usually scroll the Reddit four to five hours. It's supposed to be right out. The boat technique, a military buddy told me about it when he was stationed in Mali. Imagine yourself in a small boat on a stream running through a forest with a company above you and the sun shining, a canopy above you with the sun shining through. Lots of imagination required here. I thought it was fall asleep quickly. Somebody said exhaustion. Sometimes even if I'm extremely exhausted though, if I have a million things on my mind, I still can't fall asleep. I put on forensic files. Peter Thomas's voice is so soothing. Lay in the bed on your phone until you have you hear the birds. <laughs> Somebody always got to take it there. Let me know when you find out I have ADHD. Yeah. What was your I'm um, dating an effing idiot moment? When he didn't know the difference between transmission fluid and oil. I was like, this is bad. This is bad. She said the temperature in her house never changed. So she couldn't understand why she was always hot and cold. She had never taken the package, packaging off her digital thermometer. So she was just looking at a sticker <laughs> that says 72 degrees. When I mentioned that a particular restaurant made their own pickles and he firmly corrected me, informing me that pickles grow on bushes. Well, you know, you kind of rub both right. He kept littering. I really hate littering. The day he spit out his gum on the sidewalk of a zoo, I caught him out on it. He says it will evaporate. I laughed and said, that's funny, but no, seriously, you should just use trash. He gave me a confused look. That's when I realized he was serious. Listen, maybe he thinks it does disappear, but all the while it's on the bottom of somebody's shoe. I have an ex-wife who pretends to be allergic to chocolate. Spoiler alert, she isn't. And one year for my birthday, we went out to eat. And I don't know, I got to stop this because I got to say this is funny. When we were in high school, and if my best friends listened to this, I don't know if she remembers. But this girl used to swear she was a vegetarian. And so she, like, <laughs> we went and got pizza one time. And she literally got like a meat lover's and picked the meat off. Now, mind you, yes, this was the 90s and people didn't have all their vegetarian rules, but uh, 
You know, even then I knew eating the meat lovers versus just getting a cheese pizza, which nowadays if you vegetarian, what kind of vegetarian are you? Do you eat dairy? Because there's levels to it. But back then you knew it was no meat. So why not just get a cheese pizza? It's just little things like that when people are like, I'm a vegetarian, but I like, I cannot take you serious. Like you've driven me crazy. Anyway. So the lady said that she was allergic to chocolate. And so they went out to eat. He offered her some coconut shrimp, which she gladly accepted. Four seconds later, she made a terrible burp and sound and spat and chewed the shrimp on the table as loud as she could. She said, was that coconut shrimp? I said, yes. I replied, coconut. She shouted and was like, coconut. She hollered. Oh, she thought it was cocoa. That was his wife. Google had an April Fool's joke one year where if you lick your phone screen, you can actually taste the object of what's being displayed on the screen. Nevertheless, she did it several times and said it didn't work. <laughs> I took her out to dinner and gave her two options, an Italian restaurant or just like a regular restaurant where they have several kinds of things. She said she really hated Italian food, so she went to the regular restaurant where she ordered a lasagna. <laughs> These are funny. My ex would find a, a recipe on time and not follow it and blame the recipe for being crap. Things like subbing bread comes with flour, adding pepper in dishes. Those were just the most disgusting sweetie meat, Swedish meatballs I've ever had. All right, let's read one more and I'm going to hop over to my story times. An ex dropped me off the first day of my job. He was late picking me up. And when I called him 30 minutes after my closing shift to see what was up, he said it was because the car was stolen. I called to find another ride to his, so a friend came to get me instead. Homeboy drove across the street to get a soda and walked home. He forgot the car. We saw it on the way back. Oh, yeah, he was really, he was really dense. All right, one more. My Hispanic day said she would never marry a black guy because she didn't want to have Puerto Rican kids. <laughs> Pray. Some of these people, these are voters in our country, mind you. All right, y'all, let's get into some story time. Try to use uh, Ashley's credit card. We supposed to be coming in. You know the hurricane is coming, Earl. Yeah, I'm familiar with the hurricane. So, yeah. Okay, so I tried to use her credit card and it's not working. Call her and it went straight to voicemail. Which credit card? Her credit card that she uses, the one that you pay the bill on. I'm trying to use it so we can get these tickets. Right. Why do you Why do you even have a credit card? Why did she even give you a credit card? She lets me use it in case of emergency. I don't use it to just buy bullshit. And because the area that we live in is supposed to be, you know, have a lot of damage, we need to get out of here. Okay, so what, what do you what do you need from me? I need you to, to I don't know if it's a lock on it or what's going no, on. No, I took, I, I need to get these tickets. That was my credit card that I had Ashley on. I don't know why she passed it around like it's some sort of charity card for the family, but I, I took her off that last month. Okay, well, what can you do? Because we need to get out of here. It's, we need to, and I, Wait a minute, what, 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 who, you and your kids? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Are oh, you saying you and your kids? Yes, me and the kids. Stop playing. Well, I'm not playing. Hold on. First of all, hold one second. Let me get this out of the way. Hold tight. And where y'all at? Where y'all? Where y'all trying to fly from? We are at. Home. Why y'all making me the priority to call to to get y'all out of Houston? We are. It didn't call Ashley. Thing. I did. It's going straight to voicemail. She already knew that I would be using the car in case of emergency. This is an emergency. Okay, so call Ashley and ask her to foot the bill for it because that's not my responsibility. Me and Ashley not even together no more. So I'm even trying to figure out like why am I even being called about a, a, a matter with you and your kids? Okay, listen. So I said her her phone is going straight to voicemail. So whether you are 
whose responsibility is what? Can you just handle the situation this time and then if I need to pay you back or whatever I need to do, just please, I'm, I'm still your sister-in-law. Okay. Well, here's, here's the deal. I, I'm empathetic towards, you know, your situation and y'all trying to get out of Houston. I saw that, Hurricane uh, Burrow. I saw that. But, okay. um, I, I mean, I, I don't... I don't know what to tell you in regards to that. That's that's something you need to first talk to your sister about. See if she can square it away. She already hit me for. She already got. She's getting me for a nice little chunk of, of, of child support. So, on top of her whatever mess she got going on, um, I promise you she'll be able to help you. And it, how much do the tickets cost anyway? I mean, you should try. You shouldn't be trying to figure out. You know the, the cheapest route to, to fly. And, and where y'all going? We're coming to Atlanta. We're staying with Ashley. Ashley just was staying with me. Where y'all... Where? Okay, well, they're staying with y'all. We're still family. At the end of the day, we... Hell no. Friends. Hell we're no. Are your blood relatives. Listen and to I, me. Well, I might as well be blood. I'm your sister-in-law. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. So, Ashley's telling you that you... And your girls can come stay here. The door. Hold on, just, just I'm just, I just want to be clear about this. Yes. That's what she told you. Yes. Okay. Well, let me. I'm gonna tell you right now. I don't. I don't have the patience to have nobody else in my house. Ashley was just staying here for almost a week, and I'm just getting her out of the house. So I really don't want no. We were all, listen. We. I don't mean to cut you off. We was only gonna be here till Tuesday. No. And we're coming back. No, no. You, so what you, you, you and here's the deal. You and Ashley are gonna have to figure out what it is that y'all need to do. But he's not answering the phone, D. Okay. Come on, now we family. Hold on. I, we're not pulling that family card right now. We're not gonna do that at all. There's no card. We are family. What do you mean? Okay. Well, here's the deal. You need to contact Ashley first. I'm not gonna be coming out of pocket. Hold on. Hold on, Hold on, fam. Hold up. I'm not gonna be coming out of pocket for nobody else and their kids. No. No. I will reimburse you, D. No. You well. You you gonna you ain't have to worry about reimbursing me because I'm not giving that doubt. I'm not. I'm making my my decision right now. I don't want to leave her at all. I don't want to make you feel like oh maybe I was gonna help you out with the situation. I'm not helping out. Listen to me, Stephanie. I'm not helping out. That's on y'all. Let it be alone, D. Say what? Let it be alone. Go get it from a payday loan. I can't. I can't do nothing for you. I can't. I can't. I got. Nothing. I got relatives. You know what time it is? Listen to me. I got relatives in relatives in Houston that's gonna be hitting me up asking to come stay. This is not a homeless shelter. I can't. I'm. I'm just getting my place back like I like it. So what do y'all think? Um. Ooh, a hurricane. I gotta see. I gotta assess the situation. Cause what day of the hurricane did she call? If she, if she already down there in the rain, ain't no planes leaving. But if she trying to get it, I have to assess the situation. But I'm with him. Like no, no. Number one, you shouldn't have even had access to my credit card. But he already messed up anyway. Cause if you get a divorce, bro, you should have already handled up on canceling them cards. But, uh, yeah, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, who that? Who's we? I am definitely lower middle class and cannot afford a pool. So when a lot of people see us enjoying our pool, they ask, how did you afford that? You don't make no money. And it's the truth. We don't make no money. So I'm here to teach everybody how you can put a 60 by 30 in-ground pool with no money. Ethically, a lot of y'all aren't going to agree with this, but it's the truth of it. After we seen the way our finances were dramatically inflated this year, we decided we didn't care no more. We used to keep up with everything. We used to keep up with our credit score, our bank account, make sure everything was real adult and responsible like but at some point you come to the conclusion that if they don't care about you why do you care about them so what we did is we financed this pool around sixty thousand dollars and then we decided we ain't paying it what are you gonna do about it do they call us every day yeah i tell them it's right here come get it what are you waiting for when they call back again i tell them i said it's right here what are you waiting for come get it Seems like if I've already offered to give it up, there's nothing left to talk about. This video is made mostly in joke, but with a dash of seriousness. You see, we have broke out of the matrix. We do not care. There's going to be several people in the comments that are going to say words like, lean on your house, judgment, collections. 
understand we do not care hence i'm making a video that i hope to go viral that's how much we do not care because what we've come to the realization of they cannot unalive us or eat us we still have ourselves and we are tired we are tired of what's happening if it's f you then it's gotta be f them i am definitely lo listen i'm not too mad at him it's been a couple times where i've been like man f this credit score bro like if everybody get that mentality the banks are gonna go under but i mean they act like they going under now so I'm kind of with this dude. Or my, I'm like, who look? Because my half my, my husband pussy is pussy. That's you young girls running around shaving all the half y'all vagina. <laughs> you know, I was just telling somebody this. The only time I ever shaved my vagina when I was young is when I caught crabs. Y'all just running around with bald head pussies for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, as I've gotten older, I care less and less. And I'm just, yeah, who cares? Care. As I've gotten older. Be careful what you say. Yeah. I don't like when a guy trims too much. Listen, you know, the too. good thing about it, she's a white woman. So her her hair doesn't get, excuse my language, nappy. A black woman got an afro down there like the Jackson 5. So you just stick your hand in all draw, it'll break your fucking nail. <laughs> At least your shit is soft. My shit is crunchy. It'll take your nail bed off. <laughs> you got food. This poop, is the poop. funniest person that's ever been on this podcast. You out. just can't finger me. <laughs> You gotta spread that shit like the Red Sea. Else see, she black. She know exactly why. Don't you black? See, she know them. See, that's why she laughed. She ain't laughed all day. She's like, she was on that body cry. Oh, the nigga rope been through some shit. When I said we got nappy pussy hair, she fell out laughing. Yeah. yeah. Her pussy probably was like your hair. But my shit like the Jackson 5 Afro. You just can't go down in there. You got hoop, hoop. Cause your fingernail get caught and break your fucking knuckles. That sounds like a real bitch to shave. Because you got to, like, get... Yeah, it oh. is. It is. I mean, that's a lot of work. I don't blame you. It that hurts your arm. Work. Yeah, that do hurts my arm. Yeah. And I, I'm not letting anybody get between my leg and shave that shit. So I shave it when I get... I, it don't really bother me until it's get into my navel or get on my <laughs> <laughs> and get on my thighs in this fucking room. <laughs> TikTok is gonna have something to say about that. Oh, we've covered a lot of ground today on this. On this Yo, one. it's a lot of ass I got. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Yeah. That's Why the do y'all shave your booty hole? Who the fuck back there? I didn't even know I had no when hair. When you're in, my in doggy style, it's you can see the butthole. You ain't. Hey, my mom ain't never told me see my butthole. <laughs> He's lying. My we can see no, it. hold on. We can see it. Let me tell well, you. Well, you something. ain't got no ass. I got some ass. I got some ass. Not like mine. My 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 ass eat my boot hole. <laughs> <laughs> this cat is a mess, and not every black woman got an afro down there. FYI. Oh my lord, what is this? Okay, so this is this is this crazy story, y'all. And I'm so sick of these people. These are these young, stupid people. This is where people get on my nerves when it comes to the police. People swear they hate the police, but the main ones that call them to solve the most stupidest disputes are these kind of people. But anyway, let's go. How old are you now? Anything like for damage or property or anything? 
Cause she definitely just broke my headset right here. I, I'm not getting this came in and broke picture shit. here. Ma'am, you need to put your stuff on because you have a couple of warrants that we're going to deal with and you're leaving one way or the other. Warrants? Yes. But he invited me over here. I didn't invite him. I swear to God. I, I don't care whether he invited you over here or not, but you God. have warrants. I so. I have warrants from what? For failure to appear on two different court dates. I don't know who it's from. You have a warrant from the. From? You have a warrant from the courthouse. What courthouse? Yes. From who? Jesus Christ. You have a warrant for your arrest. Darius Dancy, right? I don't know who. Darius Dancy? You know who wrote it? The judge. That's the who judge writes warrants. The judge just ready a bullshit ass copy. So. Okay, whatever. So, so put your clothes so on because you're going. Is there nothing I can happen about that? Because like. I'm, I'm, I'm going to deal with that in just a minute. Sorry, All right. I'm not trying to interrupt you. I'm not trying to get you mad. I'm feeling like you set this up. No, and I'm not really God, pleased I with this. So just God, leave, that, leave it alone right now. I did not take that lady. Okay. She just came over here and came to my house. I can show you my phone if you want me to. I can show you my text messages and everything. I don't. What's going on? Okay, yeah. okay. I'll just, one so, step at a time, bro. Okay, okay. I'm gonna stay with right her. Do you have my money? I don't have nothing for you. Do you have my fucking money? What money? Do you have my money? She think I got. She doesn't have, have money. Do you have my fucking money? No. Victoria, can you get out? Do you have my money? Can you get out? No. Give me my money. Can you get out? Give me my fucking money. Shit, We're not gonna do this, okay? Do you see the petty game shot the fucking blade? I'm seeing a lot of petty from both both sides right here. Okay. Oh, shit. What do I do? What you call the police for? Because you need you trespass into my you fucking house. You just literally fucked me, right? Okay, but you trespass into my house. You I don't want you here. Me. It I mean, do not want you here. You don't want me here when I'm texting. I did it. And you called me. I did it. You did it? No. Did you just call the police to my house a while ago? Victoria, that so was last fucking lying? week. I have you blocked. They have copies of every Bro, fucking get out. Just so get out. Why are you fucking lying? Please just get out. Why are you calling please the fucking Please just get out. Ma'am, please just get out. I'm not Let's leave. I'm not with you. So you can't give me my money back? I don't have shit of hers. I swear to God. You can check my pockets. Ma'am. Hold it one second. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to issue you a new citation. If you attempt to leave, we will stop you. We will arrest you for that, okay? For what? If you leave right now without receiving your new citation. Okay. Do you understand? Victoria, what's your current address? Do I have to state that? Yes. No, I don't. You're under arrest for a warrant, okay? For what warrant? Case number 21CM0495. That's Case false. Case 21CM458. That's false. Victoria, that's false. He's trying to give you a piece of paper that's false. for a court date instead of taking you to jail. How is it false? That's false. See, we run your name through leads. You run my name and you see all the times that I've been arrested for the same motherfucker that never been to fucking jail. Okay. Why am I in his fucking apartment? If I, I have a key or not, he had the chance and the opportunity to get to, to okay. get his fucking key, right? So, so why does he keep coming to my fucking apartment? Do you understand? That doesn't make fucking sense. Okay. If y'all want to fucking play this game, do not play it with me. This play has it with nothing somebody else. to do with this, okay? You were it issued doesn't, court dates. A court date did not for appear. There is. You did not appear. Like issued like a warrant I fucking for said, your arrest. You're related to some fucking body. Like I fucking said, I don't have a fucking warrant. I've been I, arrested for this motherfucker for six fucking Time. I can take you to jail tonight on this instead you of issuing a ticket. Yes. And then I get out of fucking jail. This, yes. Right? No. But or you can just give me no. your address. Why do you need my address? Because I have to fill out this form. Is my form. safety important to you? I'm doing Is my, my job. Is my safety important yes. to you? Do you no, want to go not, in handcuffs? No, it's not. Because if I say he's related to somebody, to somebody, you don't fucking know this man. You don't live with him. Him? No, you don't him. even fucking know him. Y'all came in on three fucking cars. You don't ride with him. He looks like somebody he just fucked. We don't ride. We don't ride with two cars. Yeah, you do. This is a small town department. Yeah, you we fucking never do. ride in two cars. And you definitely you fucking left Do you want to go to jail or do you want to take it? Plain and simple. Are we taking you to jail or not? Why are you getting tough with me if I don't have anything? Because I'm trying to help you out and get you, you out of here. How are you trying to help? You have what? warrants for your arrest. You I just told you. You failed to I don't to have a fucking warrant. Oh, damn I don't have a fucking warrant. I don't you have a fucking court. warrant. So you want to go to jail? So I went to fucking court and you know who was there? Nobody. The fuck? No, you didn't. It was nobody fucking there. You're about to get resisting, resisting and obstructing We're charge. Resisting and go to jail. Give them your information, and then you get your tickets and you go. Or you go to jail and then if you, you have, have my right fucking out. information. Matter of fact, I'll do this for you. I can step over there and give you my fucking information. Because I don't trust this motherfucker. Right. Right here. Let's do that. You work with him for four years. You in a different car. Now you are on body camera, and there's a camera right here. Turn I cannot turn this off. Why? Because Why? the state law this tells 
Jackson said you could turn that f***ing shit off. State law says I cannot. What is state law? Some shit that came after because me? Because I'm arresting you. Some shit that came after me? You're not arresting me for shit. That's what this You're is. You're not arresting me for shit. Put your other You're not giving it you to me. You're mad because I'm talking to you some type of way. You didn't even ask for a talk to or anything. Direct to your peroneal nerve. Are you you're kicking me, right? One more charge. You're going to do I ain't have shit. Okay. Relax. I'm glad y'all got that fucking camera. Relax. Bitch. Go underneath her arm. Underneath. Her. Shoulder. Yep. Yep. All right. One, two, three, left. Stop! Kicking, man. Stop resisting. All right. Go on the other side. We're going yep. to pull it from. enough to deal with some of these people and I hate to see a black woman go to jail Lord knows I do but Victoria I hope you watch this girl you need serious therapy like you've been arrested six times over this dude like honestly I would never say I couldn't be no cop that's all I'm gonna say because my those cops have patience if there's a patience award give it to them you know, that girl, she needs some serious help. I hope she gets it together. I hope she has redemption. I really do. Because that was, she went out bad and she went out sad. Look, y'all, I'm going to wrap this up. Y'all pray for Victoria. Let's pray we don't see her back with Darius. That was his name. Darius is a little simp, clearly, because he keep messing with Victoria. And Victoria is a lot of women like... Three, three cops couldn't even get her in a car. So, Darius, I hope you watch this too and man up, bro. Because you you got some serious issues. Alright, y'all. I'm getting out of here. Y'all stay blessed. I'll be back tomorrow.